Okay, viewers, Mike Money Gamer here, and I'm back. And before we move on to the plot, like I said we were going to in Dark Lab, I wanted to show you what I found after all my searching. All I have to show for my work is three gourds. Yeah, well, four. But, yeah, I did not find any more Fruit of Edens. And I searched in all the places that the guy told me. So, this must be the max levels for all my uh, peoples. So, we should hopefully have the max HP for everybody. I don't know if there's a way to um, confirm that. Um, there's a Steve fact. I want to see where it, what it has in it. Blah, blah, blah. Why am I even doing this? I just realized I don't know why I'm trying to read this. Oh, okay. It's just basically he wrote down everything about um, every character. I might read it later. Or something, because, I mean, it's not like it really matters. That's kind of neat. I guess I could use that to see if I missed any. Um, yeah, there's nothing that says what you're up. Uh, Flash player, shut up! That tells me what your max levels are. I mean, I'm sure I could find it somewhere, but I'm not going to search all over the damn place trying to find it. So let's give one of these to you. One to you. And if I'm right, that should be all the gourds. Everybody has nine. Where should I get the tenth to? Sure, why not? I'll give it to you. But that makes me conf that makes me worried that I might be missing one. I'm uh, missing some. But like I said, I'm not gonna bother searching anymore because I've searched everywhere I could to find all the um, miracle chests. So if I'm missing any, well, they were probably in the moon factory, and who knows where they are now in there, if they were in there at all. So, yeah. Because if you go back in there, uh, there's actually nothing in there. Like, the lookout's gone, the sun giant, of course, is gone, because it got destroyed. So I may have missed out on some in there. And I may have missed out some, you know, here, for all I know. So, it's not important. Let's go to Darkhaven Castle to um, make sure we're fully equipped before we move on. Uh, the only thing I can tell you now is that with our newfound um, strength, for lack of a better word, Oh, yeah, I need to save and do some stuff to see how it turns out. Now that I've done all that. Well, there goes nothing. Any mistakes I made, they're now saved forever. I don't really care, though. Okay, so... We can cis-fear this dagger and this sax. The question is, what do I want to put them on? I said the Serpent Sword at one time, and uh, the thing is, uh, we got one for free, let's upgrade that. What does it need to build up? 
attack and magic, ice and thunder, and um, anti-metal. I'm gonna try something really stupid. I'm only gonna fill up two things for later. Well, I mean, the question is do I want to put stuff on it and then it end up being able to be cis -feared? Not this be cis -feared, but then the cis -fear put it up to the level where it can be, you know, whatever. Okay, let's see. Um. Yeah. You're gonna be my tester to see how this is gonna turn out. Maxes out speed. Doesn't really do much for that. Doesn't put up metal at all. <laughs> oh well, that's not a problem. Okay, so. Oh, what the hell? I have so many of them and they're so. I can easily find more if I need to. Let's go ahead and upgrade it again. <coughs> and the verdict? Well, it still can't be built up. Now it's maxed out at. 99 speed, and that's the only thing on it that's maxed out. Everything else is fine. Uh, do we want to take the chance and put the sacks on it too, or do we want to just wait? I think I'm just gonna wait. Uh, okay, is there anything I can cis fear in yours? Probably not. No. You. Your mallet, but that's not really gonna do me much good. Uh, the crystal ring, I'm tempted to. first. I mean, I'm very tempted to just put that on here and see what it does for the sake of build up. I don't really want to at the same time because I know it's not going to be able to benefit it much. Um, unless you can use somebody else's Sisphere, there's no much, nothing much I can do for him. Oh well. So, anyway, like I said, let's go over here. <laughs> Buy some items. Do that. Got plenty of stuff there. Right, that should be ready to go. And we'll go for a little bit of length on this one so we can show off another plot related dungeon. 205 years ago, still nothing, spe nothing special yet. Oh good god, thank goodness it's not a curse stage or something because I still have the dagger equipped. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Uh, make sure if I'm going to use anybody else I have them on good weapons too. of this area so much. Okay, yeah, she's still hooked on her platform. Okay, we're good to go. A chasm, and then an open area. Let's go over here. So, I'm starting to wonder if every floor has a one thing, because it just doesn't seem like I've run into a floor that doesn't have a back room. Which is strange, because I could have sworn that they are usually random, but I've been finding a lot of them lately, and so it's starting to make me wonder if it really is that case or not. Or I'm just getting really damn lucky. I don't know. Uh, what? Ow, you piece of shit! element and amulet. That's actually good because I've been actually running low on those. Trans feather. There, got rid of him. Got some money out of the deal too. Let's 
You know, I must admit, viewers, I'm kind of worried about con constantly using this weapon on the grounds that, um... It almost feels like it ain't gonna do me any good to use it unless I can get lucky with its uh, other stuff. Which, actually, now I think about it, I should have the attributes it needs. Yeah, hold on. It needs... Anti-Undead... C... I can't remember what that other one is. Plant. I don't have any of them! <laughs> Damn it! Unless it's on the other one, I might have some. Anti-rock, I think I have some of those. Just remember though, um, no I don't. When you, um, yeah, when you downgrade to, or like, you know, use the second one instead of using the, um, like top one here, for example. You gotta be careful, because if you use the bottom one, it can sometimes um, kill you a little bit in the long run. Right, so we're good there. I just can't believe that after all that work that we've thrown into this, we still don't have that many uh, anti crap. Man, you don't give an F about hit, you know, hit, getting hit, so you just gotta hit him and then run because he's gonna smack you if you don't. I hit him first. Ha <laughs> ha! It's awesome right there. You know, you would think that as you get further into the game that money drops that you do get lucky enough to get would at least be worth it, but no, I mean, look at it. You only get like 13, 10. <laughs> it's like, shouldn't you be getting like, I don't know, 30, 40? <laughs> I hear you if you're saying that. <coughs> That's why I'm saying that I'm glad they fixed that in the sequel where if enemies do drop money, it's the amount that you actually could use. You know, or you can just sell whatever you find in the treasure chest. Uh, 
damn it. That's what I was talking about. Ugh. I know I'm playing horrible all of a sudden, I'm sorry. Don't know what came over me. <laughs> Actually, it's just that with try and point, you have to be very careful with these enemies. It actually seems better to just hit them once than run away. Anyway, there's our clock hands. Well, I mean, fire is good enough if you don't have holy. I find it strange, though. In the first dungeon, I was finding more attachment items like, you know, like holy, um, eyes, fire, stuff like that. And here I'm not finding any of that stuff, I'm just finding like basic items and I'm like, really? <coughs> How is that possible? But at the same time it doesn't really matter, it's just kind of funny to me, it's like, that's something you don't expect. You think it would give you exactly what you need when you need it. But, um, uh, for you, I'm gonna take you out with Lady Shura. Excuse your pain in the ass. has passed since the war began. We are nearly defeated. To regroup, I took rest at a safe place. Then a black road man approaches from behind the trees. You want the power to win this day? I can give it to you. The hell? That sounded so weird for a uh, road man. Sorry, viewers, that was terrible. That light looks like a hand. Just picks that up since it'll bother me a little bit if I don't. Light from my hands destroys my enemies. Is this black power? 
I borrowed the power of devils, but now I can save my comrades. With this force, I will never let them touch you. Our next mission will be the assassin. You gotta give them credit though, they did a very good job planning out this whole story here. Yeah, no. Is there anything I need to worry about? Because I'm tempted to go straight on into the next one, but I don't know what year it will be. Let's be dangerous! Oh, it looks like it's... Using a weapon reduces abs and they can't be changed. Uh, you're up, John. to go up? Holy shit, it actually can. I should really help it. I hit him twice. God. I know you're probably gonna call me weird and stuff that I'm actually thinking about leveling up John now that I can realize that but remember I said I was going to try to do my best whenever I have a whole bunch of free time I'm going to try my best to show you upgrades of all the weapons I was using throughout the game like the main ones that I was using if I don't get to it by the end of the fight like the final fight I'm going to at least try my best to show you That even means for John if I have a chance to use him a whole bunch. Like I do right now. Go off that pole before you destroy the damn dread's feather. Alright, 
what do we got? We got another blizz. We got two blizzards in here. You're up, John. I guess one way I can take him out is like this. Did pretty good, Dan. Didn't finish him. Lance, back the fuck up. I don't really care to mess with you right now. I just wish I wasn't, you know, not getting any experience for my job. Oh yeah, he's weak against a uh, holy. And it one shots him if I hit him with it. worried. 
I'm sure people are poking fun at me right now, but I don't really care. Like I said, I mean, the, this floor is meant to piss you off. It's like saying, hey, guess what? All that work you've been doing, ha! It means nothing because you're now going to lose everything. <laughs> Especially since you can't find the key and you're going to fight every single enemy on the goddamn floor to find it. Yes, I know I'm getting thirsty. Shut up. kill everything just for the hell of it then? That means I'm an idiot. Uh, explosion, right? Every single fucking time it's been cursed, which is retarded since you can't change your uh, weapon anyway, but ser seriously, I think the last four times I've opened a treasure chest has been cursed. Another goddamn platinum ring. I don't need that shit. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, anyway, let's get out of here. God, we're up to 31 minutes. I'm gonna get out off screen and take care of stuff off screen too. When I come back, we will be on the next floor. Till then, bye.